Well, if it's not one thing, it's another. And it looks like the dollar, a.k.a. the Federal Reserve note, is under more pressure given that more central banks are beginning to deploy projects in regards to ledger technology to bypass the dollar as well as cross-border payments. Let's talk about that. So I came across an article and I wanted to just shine some light on it real quick and uh, share my two cents on it, because as all the things we're being confronted with here in the U.S. Uh, happens to be on the political realm, as well as the whole fiscal idea of trying to get out as much stimulus as possible before this uh, current unemployment and the current relief bill comes to an end. One thing that's not getting much attention is the infrastructure being set up to go around the dollar. And all this information seems to be coming out of the Asian area in collaboration with a lot of other countries over there. And so I came across this article here that caught my attention because a lot of buzzwords stood out and I want to address that today. And then I'll make sure to include the link below if you guys are interested in reading for yourself because it's relatively short. So here's an article here from the BIS, the Bank of International Settlement. And of course, we know the BIFs and all those other entities, IMF, they're looking to roll out their own programs in a more subtle approach in this quest to use this current pandemic as a way of building back better. But of course, with that building back better comes an entirely new monetary system. And of course, you know, it's going to be digital. So here this article here says Central Bank of China and the United Arab Emirates joined digital currency project for cross-border payments. And so right now, what is the primary instrument used for cross-border payments? It happens to be the SWIFT system. So it looks like they have some things in place, bypasses the need to use the SWIFT system, the dollar, as well as the role that the United States has held over the monetary system for close to 100 years. So to give an idea, here's a, here's a couple bullets at the very top. It says the Digital Currency Institute of the People's Bank of China Digital Currency Institute and the Central Bank of the United Arab Emirates joins the multiple CBDC or MCBDC bridge, a cross border payment project, it says the MCBDC bridge is a co-creation initiative run in partnership with the BIS Innovation Hub, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority and the Bank of Thailand. A lot of entities tied into that one. Give an idea what's going on here says the MCBDC bridge initiative is run in partnership with the BIS and the Hong Kong Monetary Authority and the Bank of Thailand. It will further explore the capabilities of distributed ledger technologies by developing a proof of concept prototype to support a real time cross border foreign exchange payment versus payment transactions. Wow, that's a mouthful there. But ultimately, utilizing this current momentum in the digital asset space, using those same words and lingo, whatnot, proof of concept prototype in multiple jurisdictions operating 24 seven says the MCBDC bridge project will foster a, a conducive environment for more central banks in Asia, as well as other regions to jointly study the potential of DLT in enhancing the financial infrastructure of cross border payments. So once again, as I start off this video here, the whole idea of this whole implementation of this new technology is to piggyback on the initial rollout of the whole decentralized cryptocurrency narrative to further escalate this entire monetary system into a centrally controlled digital atmosphere. And so when you have these type of projects coming together, you have a digital currency institute in China working on stuff like this. It definitely lets us know that all this stuff right here that's being rolled out was a part of the original plan. So none of this stuff is new. It's only new to those that have not been paying attention to this current environment in this transition to a di digital atmosphere. And then go on here, it gives more highlights as to why this is important. It says to propose solutions and concepts to alleviate the current pain points in making cross-border fund transfers. And of course, a lot of the pains they're referring to is the fact that in order to make cross-border payments, you have to use the Federal Reserve platform, which is the SWIFT ultimately. And so that means that it takes several days for you to send payment across the world. And it has to go through different Federal, Federal Reserve banks as well as commercial banks to arrive at its final destination, which is a very old and outdated model, but it's centrally controlled by the Eastern Hemisphere, which happens to be IMF, Federal Reserve, all those entities on this side of the planet. And of course, with the BIS and all these entities here looking to form a partnership and deploying DLT or ledger technology, this is just one more nail in the dollar's coffin, which will only gain more momentum because if it's coming out of Asia, we know everything has kind of been shifted towards that region. They're going to begin demanding other nations to join on board with this type of work here in order for them to do business with China, because of course, China has surpassed the U.S the leading role in the manufacturing as well as the next monetary hub. And then to finalize it here, it says the participating central banks 
will take into account the results of the POC work to evaluate the, the feasibility of the MCBDC bridge project for cross-border fund transfers, international trade settlement, and capital market transactions in their own jurisdictions. The BIS hub is orchestrating the partnerships of all these central banks here utilizing this MCBDC model on the distributed ledger technology. And of course, no words of the Federal Reserve or the dollar has been mentioned in any of this, but it happens to be the United Arabs, Thailand, and the PBOC for starters. And so this right here should definitely be of concern because as I always say, there is no financial future for the Federal Reserve note and the system on a global scale because the other world central banks have already turned their back on the dollar and the control mechanisms that have enslaved the world through the issuance of debt, especially at the alarming rate that uh, the Federal Reserve and the Treasury will begin ramping out there. So just want to share my two cents on this whole matter. I think a few countries we should all keep an eye on happens to be the European region with the euro as well as Saudi Arabia. Because once Saudi Arabia officially joins onto projects like this and they start accepting these MCBDC transfers outright without the dollar, the game is over with. Anyway, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. Looking forward to catch you on a live talk.